Here we are at Lesson 8, making the most out of galleries. Galleries can be taken a look at in two different ways. We're going to first take a look at the galleries that SMART provides for us called the Gallery Essentials. And then we're going to take a look at what is called My Content. And My Content is actually the galleries that you get to build. Well, we just finished up with the Properties settings. And now what we're going to do is we're going to actually move our way up here to the Gallery Palette. And in the Gallery Palette, you'll see that you get a whole slew of different things that may confuse you at first, but as you take a look through them, you're going to discover that truly the galleries is where the meat and potatoes of this entire program or this notebook software is because this is where you can take images, add them into your page. You can take things from the internet, add them back into your galleries, create themes, backgrounds, all sorts of things. This lesson is really going to start filling in what you do with that SmartBoard software. First thing I can do is I can grab a hold of this section right here and actually pull it down to kind of keep it out of the way to give myself a little more room to actually play with my galleries. And if we take a little bit closer look, if we kind of frame this off, we can see that we have what is called my content. Right here we have themes. Then we have essentials for educators. Pretty much sounds right in tune with us. I believe most of us that are online are educators here taking this class. That is the reason why you're here. You can imagine that this section is going to be just for you. What you're going to find out later on in, in lessons later is that the Lesson Activity Toolkit is probably the most significant thing that you're going to find in this entire suite. The last thing that we have here is the Gallery Sampler. We're going to stick with the actual essentials for educators and my content for right now. I'm just going to hit the little tiny plus button right here and you're going to see that I have a whole collection of things for educators. When you go to install the software, whether it's you or your administrator, your tech, tech guy, your IT guy, when you go to install the software, it actually gives you the option to put in any or none of those actual galleries. You can choose whether, you, if you're an art teacher, you're obviously going to keep the art gallery. If you're a mathematics teacher, obviously you're going to use the mathematics gallery. But I'm going to encourage most of you to keep a great majority of these because even within the mathematics category, if you're a science teacher, you'll probably find yourself going back to that math gallery. If you're a special needs teacher, you're probably still going to use some of the geography and the arts, so on and so forth. You get I think you catch my drift here. But let's just take a look inside one of these actual galleries inside this folder. If You'll notice each one of these has its own plus button next to it also. Let's go to the arts one. Hit the plus button. And now we have a subsect of that actual art gallery. We've got art, design, and music it has its own plus button next to it. But all I'm going to do is hit the art button here. Now you'll notice, let's move down here where we see the art has 25 items in it. It has 25 pictures and backgrounds. I can again take this and pull it up here. And now I can bump this little button and what it's going to do is it's going to reveal all of those pictures to me. So there we go. Within the art gallery, at this point, I have all of these pictures. Every one of these pictures was not added by me. It was added by the people at SMART. They said, you know what? We think that these are pretty highly used images, things that art teachers would appreciate, and so they give them to us to use. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to take one of these images and pull it over and drop it on your page over here. There are one of two ways that you can actually take this image from over here and slap it into the page. The first and probably the most sensible way, I guess, would be to click on that little down arrow, just like we had with the images and the pages, and we can actually say, insert into notebook. And if I click on that, boom, it slams it over onto the page for me. I now have the same controls over this that I had over all of my different images. I can resize this, rotate this. I can even tell it to flip left to right. That's actually in a different lesson, so don't panic if you didn't catch that. But you get the idea. You can do most anything you want with it. I'm going to delete it for now. The second way of putting images onto the page is actually easier. You just may not think of it. Once you learn it, it'll be just fine, though. 